Hey, what's up guys? PK here. And today we got another crabbing trip and I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, we're going to try to catch some crabs and cook them today. All right. So let's get on with it. Okay. So here's our crab pots right here and um, we're going to bait them up. Um, I got some fish carcass. So let's do that right now and get out there. Alright, so there's our bait. Really smelly. Mmm, it smells so good. Oh, yeah. You just thought out? Yep. Mmm. I thought them out because it's easier that oh, it's way. A lot easier. Yeah, get them in there. Oh, look at that. Is that good or what? That's good crap bait. <laughs> That's probably good enough. That's nasty stuff. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Look at that big perch. Oh yeah, big old fat perch. They're gonna love that one. Oh, trout heads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go right in there all right guys we're all baited up there's our bait right there um, fish carcass and there's the other pot and then there's one down there all right and then I also got my GoPro set up right here so we're gonna get some underwater footage okay guys we're all set let's get out there and get some crabs Yeah, go ahead and put the bow that way, okay? Because the tide's gonna push us that way. And because I, I wanna stay in one spot after I drop it. Oh. Yeah, go for it slightly. Actually, right here. What's our depth? 11 feet. Nice. Yeah. Going to be box number two. Bye guys. See you down there. See you in about an hour and a half. Woo.
Okay, there we go. That's our first pot. Now, second pot. All right, there goes pot number two. Pot number two. There we go. There we go. Okay. Pot number two. Number one, number two. Okay. Okay, there it is. Bon voyage. Woo! Number three. There. Yeah. Okay, pot number three, guys. So, that is pot number three. So we're gonna wait about, oh, I'm gonna say about an hour and a half to two hours and then we'll pick it up. So we're probably gonna do about maybe two pickups, maybe three. If we have time, we'll do three pickups, okay? So while we wait, we're gonna do a little fishing, which is fine because we are out of here. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, this is... Look at this, guys. Pretty good haul. Pretty good haul right here. Yeah. I would say that's a really good haul. Look at that. Yeah. This is... The first pickup too. Oh, we got a runner. We got a runner. Woo! There he is. Look at that, guys. Full of crabs. Although they're mostly small, they're mostly female. But you know, I think we got a couple in here. Yeah. All right. Good catch today. There's one right here, right there. Oh, we got a runner, another runner. There we go. That's a little one, but I think he's a keeper, this guy. That is a male. Oh yeah, oh yeah, easy, easy. There it is right there. So that's like number six or six? Yeah, six. So for a, a slow month, that's pretty good. I'm gonna put on my gloves so I don't get cut. There's another big one and there's another big one. We might got two or three in this one. Oh, this one is Gonna be close, but I doubt it. We'll see. Oh, he's a keeper. Yeah, six inch even, six inch. So that's, yeah. Oh, look at that big one, holy cow. Look at this one, guys. This one's big. Look at that. Easy. Six and a quarter. Wow, see that right there? That's about six and a half inch, guys. That's a big dungy, big old crab. Okay, guys, there is our crab for the first pull up. We did pretty good, actually. Much better than I expected. We got one, two, three, four, five dungies and one big old red right there that's a nice red 
Okay guys, so let's go prepare these crabs and then cook them up. Alright guys, we got the crabs right here. Um, what we're going to do now is we are going to uh, scrub all the slime off. All the uh, slime and any debris on their body and their legs. We're going to try to scrape it off with a scour pad. Just make sure there's no soap on the scour pad. Off. and then the shell comes right off just like that and then you got the gills right here so we're gonna just peel that off peel the mouth off all you want is that cavity right there the two sides And all this is garbage. Some people do like to cook this stuff, but uh, not me. Split the body open, sorry, split the body in half. Just grab it by the sides and just crack it right in half. There we go. Now I'm gonna um, peel off all the legs. You want to make sure you get all the gills off, okay, so like that. Um, to take off the legs, just, I don't know, you can use a uh, pair of scissors, some uh, kitchen shears. Alright, so once you got all the legs off, um, you can cut off this section. Um, there's not too, too much meat in there, but some people like to cook it. I don't. I'm going to shear that off. For the claws, just going to break it. Cut that in half. These sides you can leave whole, just, you know, you don't have to cut it anymore. All right, so now that you have it like that in that pile, just, you can do your final rinse. Rinse it out thoroughly.
All right, there's your crab. So now I'm gonna break the shell a little bit more. All right, so for your spices, um, I have a uh, green onion. Um, you know, add to according to what you like. Um, and then I got garlic, and I got some salt and uh, sugar all mixed together there. And also I got some, uh, some black pepper, ground black pepper, and um, vegetarian oyster sauce, okay? And you also are going to need olive oil. All right, guys, next you want to heat up a pan and to uh, put on, on medium heat and just put in enough olive oil that you like. Right about there, sounds good right there, okay? And then we're gonna let the uh, oil get hot a little bit and we'll put in the garlic and the green onions. All right, the pan is pretty hot right now, so we're gonna put in the garlic and the green onions. Just gonna stir that around. I don't know about you guys, but I love garlic and green onions. I think that's probably the main reason why it smells so bad. Um, again, you can add as much garlic as you want. I got here probably about one tablespoon, <coughs> excuse me, tablespoon of garlic. Gonna let that cook down a little bit. Already that's smelling pretty good. There is a lot of different ways to prepare crab. Um, stir frying is just my way. Um, my mom used to cook this dish for me all the time. Um, it's pan fried Dungeness crab is probably my favorite dish of all time. It's just super delicious. Okay, so we got the garlic in there and it's a little bit brown already, so we're gonna put in the crabs. Right there. wasn't paying attention, the heat was kind of low. What you want is kind of, kind of a little bit high heat so that when you bring it in, when you pour in the crab, it kind of sizzles and I wasn't paying attention, but anyway, that's sounding better. And your salt and sugar. That is smelling really good right now, guys. Super, super good. Now you can add your oyster sauce. Right about there, maybe a little bit more. Okay, yeah, right there. And then your black pepper. Right there. At this point, you can also add a little bit more water if you want. Now I'm just gonna turn down the heat a little bit. Now I'm gonna add just a little bit of water And you're probably wondering why initially I cracked the shell open. It's just to let the uh, flavor get inside into the meat. So now the sides, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over on a side like that. Okay.
Okay, there we go. Now you want to make sure this is cooked thoroughly. Raw seafood does not taste good, trust me. It'll give you a lot of problems. So, I got that on a simmer like that. Um, I'm going to turn down the heat to about 6. And I'm going to cover it. And just let it simmer for a little bit. Probably about a 5, like 5 minutes. Alright guys, there we go. I timed it. It's been about 6 minutes, so... We're gonna stir it around and um, go for about another six, seven minutes. <clears throat> so for these sides, now you just wanna lay them flat. All right, I'm gonna keep the heat on kind of low, medium. And then I'm gonna cover it for about another five minutes and then it should be good. So we'll put a timer for five minutes and that should be ready. All right guys, there it is. About five minutes has gone past. So it looks, um, looks pretty good. Looks really delicious and uh, it's all ready. Let's pour into a, a plate and um, eat it. All right, there it is. Get all that flavor out of there. Alright, there we go guys. There's my crab. Um, just looks really, really good. And I got rice with um, that in a bowl right here. And this is not complete until you have uh, Elysian Bifrost. It's a really good beer. It goes really well with this uh, dish. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more um, Catching Crabs and Cooking Crabs video. See you next time. Tight lines. All right, here is a big piece, a claw. All right, peel that off. Okay, look at that meat right there. That is delicious. Ah, mm. All right there, guys. Wow, that is good. There's a little bit of peas in there. You can get a toothpick to get it out. Um, Sometimes these are pretty hard to get at. That's why I crack the shell um, before I cook it because it's, it's easier to uh, get at the meat. For the cavity, um, like this, let's get a different one. Let's get this guy right here. So for this one, you just kind of peel off one side, sorry, peel off one leg, and just get a toothpick and pick out the meat like that. That'll come out. See that? Hmm. You can also use a claw if you want. Just kind of pick at it, okay, and here, pick it off again, use a toothpick to pry out the meat, the meat is a lot of fiber so when it comes out, it just comes out in loose piece, but that's okay. Some people are better at picking this than I am, but doesn't matter now here's a better piece take all that meat out this part is always the hardest to get at the the, the side breast the, the cavities um, that's just the way it is so it's it's easier if you just kind of break it apart like that and then just pick it out with a toothpick. For you guys who are watching this who never ate crab, um, it is 
Seriously, it is so delicious. It's by far my favorite um, meat to eat. It's I like it far better than perch, than red, red tail perch. If you want, you can also dip this in um, cocktail sauce. That'll work too. But I just like it this way with rice. So that's how you get at the uh, meat in those in those cavities. Um, for the for the legs like this, if you crack it open initially, you can just peel off the skin. Sorry, peel off the shell, break it apart. This was a soft shell, so just easier to get at. So your hands gonna be pretty dirty. Um, that's a given. It's, it's really hard to have clean hands when you're eating these crabs. Okay? Alright. There it is. That's a, that's a nice piece. Oh yeah. Right there. Alright guys. See you next time.